Good morning, children. All right. Playing cleanup here. Uh, I saw this at Walmart. And uh, I was, I don't know, getting deodorant or something. And uh, it immediately jumped out to me because Bass Reeves, if you guys didn't know, uh, I think he was the first U.S. black marshal. And if my history is correct, uh, he was so instrumental in the Wild West uh, because he could go on Indian reservations, whereas the white man could not. And then they said, okay, because, and then what would happen? The bad guy's like, oh, let's go to the reservation. And then they won't send the marshals after us, but they weren't counting on Bass Reeves. And so uh, I've always, I've known Bass Reeves. There's the other guy who probably did way more, <laughs> commandeered a Confederate ship and freed some slaves and sailed up to the United States and he had become a congressman. So, I think Smalls, I think his last name is Smalls. But anyway, <clears throat> one of the main things I've had a problem with, because I had to suffer it with everybody, was the nonstop uh, repetitive uh, history of Martin Luther King Jr., which is not to, to lessen what the man said, but uh, the civil rights era in the 60s, um, they just beat that into us at school. And uh, again, we're not we're not saying, uh, what's this, Martin Luther King, uh, Rosa Parks, and then um, who was the more libertarian-minded one? Um, Malcolm X. All right. Uh, I, got, I wish they had Malcolm X because he was a little bit more of an interesting character. Uh, but no, it was always Rosa Parks. Hey, did you know Rosa Parks didn't sit in the back of the bus? Did you know that? Did you know that? For the 48th time, and I, I've said it before, but it reminds me when I was in parochial school because uh, my dad was a pastor. We had to go to Christian school because why, why go to public? Uh, you know, the Jews always escaped Egypt. If you're wondering if Exodus changes, it's not choose your own discovery, choose your own path. Choose your own story. The Jews always get out of Egypt, and Rosa Parks always sat in the front of the bus. And when you look at uh, black heroes, American black heroes, uh, I'm sorry, they all suck. Maya Lou Angelo, oh, wow. How many more artists and poets and literature? I mean, it, it, they're all activists. They all suck. Oh, yeah, what's his name? Uh, the wannabe Martin Luther King um, from the rich part of Hyde Park and his son is a thing. Uh, Jesse Jackson. Holy cow, him and Al Sharpton, can they go away? Like, these are your heroes? <laughs> so, but then then you find out, if you actually, like, listen to history, dude, there's some some badass mofos that were pretty, and Bass Reeves is one of them. This is a, this is a real guy. He existed. You can look him up on the internet and all that, but... Um, a Kevin Graveau, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, and it says Williams and El Eltab. I think those are the artists or maybe the producers or something. So anyway, a Kevin Graveau, uh, he's a comic book guy, and he, he put together a series on Bass Reeves. So I saw him like, hey, I got, okay, yeah, all right, tell me more. This guy's cool. I want to, let's go. And uh, so I went through it. I don't think, I think this might be the first one. Um, and it's good. It's good. And I know uh, I'm not a big comic book guy, but if you're a comic book guy, you know, like you're a, a Beckloff type of dude, uh, I would I would recommend getting this. Now, uh, the problem, I'll kind of show you here, but a third, uh, two thirds through it, then they switch to what looks like an advertisement for the Saints. So this is the only actual comic book of Bass Reeves, and then the rest of this is some kind of like a snippet. It didn't look too interesting. It looked a little loud, uh, to be perfectly honest. And uh, and then they and they get he he hooks you. He hooks you. You're like, oh wait, whoa, what's going to happen next? And I got to go by the next one. But that was the only complaint I had about it. It it was just too darn short. Um, but it's very traditional. It's good versus bad. Bass Reeves is a religious man. And I'm not a big religious guy, but you know, he has principles. He's trying to raise his son right. Um, he's got 11 kids. Uh, he meets up with an Indian buddy and they beat the crap out of each other. Old school, like, hey, you want to work together? Yeah, after they knock each other out. <laughs> and then here's the bad guys. We don't know what's going to happen next, which that's how they get you. You know, that's 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 what they. But yeah, the artwork is great. Um, the plot is good.
character development. I mean, and, and that's one thing I was very impressed with is in a very short, this is no more than 12 pages, maybe, maybe 20. Uh, there's a heck of a plot already uh, being painted. And uh, you, you do want to tune in more. But anyway, I, I wanted to, and here's the other thing. It wasn't political. And no white man going to bed. It was just like, nah, this guy's out west and he's kicking a lot of ass. Like, all right, tell me more. Is Bruce Willis shooting the terrorists in the Nakatomi Plaza? I want to tune in. And so uh, even though I'm not a big comic book guy, I just want to do a review. Uh, Bass Reeves, the comic book. Uh, I guess there's three more. I put a link down below on Allegiance Comics. Episode three. Okay. So I had, all right, so there's, yeah, that's three of three. All right. There's only three of them. They're high quality production. If you look at the artwork and everything, it's, it's done very well. But I think I'm going to get the previous two because it, it was that good. I just don't want to. The Saints. I don't. I don't want to read the Saints. I don't want to. All right. We any super chats as I promote people. Robert Smalls. Yes, that's it. Thank you, Han Dog. That's that's the guy. That's the guy. Who's this schmo? Who's this idiot? What is? Juan, don't you have to like pay ninety dollars for a tank of gas in California? Don't you? Have, don't you have something to do? <laughs> that, that poor guy. Just get out of California, guys. All right. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.